we'll continue with uh, linear programming and in part 4 we'll talk about bounded and bounded feasible sets uh, corner points and the fundamental theorem of uh, linear programming we'll start with the definitions so definition 1 a set of points in uh, 2d plane is bounded if it is uh, contained in a circle centered at 0 0 and if there is no such circle then the set is uh, unbounded and definition 2 a point P is an extreme point also known as corner point of a feasible set if every line segment in the set that contains P has P as uh, one of its endpoints so let's um, illustrate these two definition definitions with uh, a couple of examples so these are our points So this is our triangle-like uh, feasible set, C1, uh, C2, and uh, C3. Okay, and this is 0, 0. So we can find a circle, some radius, centered at uh, 0, 0, that includes uh, the entire feasible set, which is why it is bounded. Okay, let's uh, construct an unbounded set, x, y. So some uh, corner points. is the borderline uh, of our feasible set okay c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 this is zero zero okay this is our feasible set and obviously um, the feasible set on the right cannot be uh, bound with a circle as the feasible set on the left we cannot find a radius of a circle that will bound it because it's uh, it's unbounded there's no such circle okay uh, let's talk about definition uh, 2 um, a point P is an extreme point uh, so C2 is an extreme point because every uh, line segment in the set that contains P has P as it one of its uh, endpoint so you may think well what about this segment uh, but part of this segment is not in the feasible set so that doesn't count okay and the same argument can be made for uh, c1 and uh, c3 what about this point uh, no it's not an extreme point because uh, the segment c2 c3 which is in the feasible set does not have this point as one of its endpoint so this is not an end, uh, a corner point let's consider an example so this is our constraint constraints x uh, greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0, 4x um, plus 3y less than or equal to 480, and uh, 3x plus 6y less than or equal to 720, and let's maximize this function, 5x plus 4 times y. So this is our objective function. Okay. Um, 
So if we graph the constraints, this is the line for x plus 3y equals 480. green line is uh, 3x plus 6y equals 720. Okay, this is the feasible set and it's quarter points. C1, C2, C3, C4. And this is the feasible set, this uh, polygon C1, C2, C3, and C4, bounded by these uh, segments. C1, C2, C2, C3, and C3, C4, and C1, C4. So let's uh, um, um, think about what we need to uh, find. We need to find the uh, x prime, y prime. Um, this this point for which five x plus four uh, y is maximum, well as large as possible. So we can uh, reformulate this problem slightly differently. Uh, we need to find the line five x plus 4y equals c, for which uh, c is uh, as large as possible. And obviously uh, x and y, x prime, y prime will uh, lie on that line. But it cannot be an arbitrary line. Uh, it, it has to intersect the feasible set. Okay, that's the first uh, requirement. And uh, the second requirement for this line is that C is maximum. Okay. So we can uh, uh, come up with a procedure uh, uh, to evaluate uh, some values of c. Right. So we can start with some arbitrary number 200 and then uh, go to uh, 400 and then uh, increment it up to a thousand. So uh, let's graph 5x plus uh, 4y equals 200. So uh, setting x to 0, y becomes uh, 50. And uh, setting y to 0, x becomes 40. So the two points uh, for the second line is uh, 80, 0, and uh, 0, 100. And then uh, 5x plus 4y equals uh, 1,000. The two points 
is uh, 0 to 50 and uh, 200 and 0. So let's graph the first line. And obviously, these uh, lines by various values of c's will be parallel. And this is 80. And uh, 0, 100. Okay. And then uh, let's graph uh, 5x plus 4y equals uh, 1,000. So we can move uh, this line up and up, and uh, obviously the maximum value of C will be achieved at uh, C3. We can analytically solve uh, a system of linear equations. Uh, 4x plus 3y equals uh, 480, and uh, 3x plus 6y equals 720. And if my calculations are correct, then uh, the value of C3 it's going to be 48 and 96. So let's uh, consider a fundamental theorem of linear programming and that uh, will help us uh, formulate an algorithm. Uh, we'll just state it and then exemplify this theorem uh, without proof. If f is an non-empty feasible set and f uh, is an objective function, has to be non-empty, and f is an objective function. Then, uh, if f is uh, bounded, then f attains its maximum or minimum value at a corner point, which is nice. Um, then uh, all we have to do is find corner points. Uh, if f is bounded and non-empty, then uh, the maximum and uh, minimum value will be found at the corner point. If f is unbounded and uh, there is a corner point, then exactly one of the following holds. So it depends on whether uh, we are solving a maximization problem or a minimization problem. So if we need to maximize uh, f, then exactly one uh, will hold, 2a or 2b. And if we need to minimize f, uh, then exactly one. Um, but not both will hold uh, to C or to D. So uh, for the maximization problem, F attains its uh, maximum at a corner point, or uh, F takes arbitrarily large positive values on F, one or the other, but not both. And if we're solving a minimization problem, F attains its uh, minimum at a corner point of F, uh, or F takes arbitrarily large negative values on F. So uh, let's um, do a quick example. So the set of constraints, x uh, greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0, then x plus 2y greater than or equal to uh, 8. These are constraints. The objective function will be f of x, y equals x plus 10y. So let's graph uh, the constraints. Eight, and then y is four. When x is zero, okay, this is the line uh, x plus two y equals eight.
these are corner points this is the boundary of the feasible set the feasible set is this it's unbounded and obviously if uh, let's say we're trying to maximize f of x y then uh, f of x y will take arbitrarily large values in this set so if we fix x zero and uh, we can the f of x y will take arbitrarily large values at, uh, along the y axis and similarly we can uh, uh, fix y um, to be zero and take arbitrarily large values along the x axis so So let's consider a graphing algorithm. It's a, or rather, it's a procedure, not not an algorithm. And given a set of constraints uh, C and uh, objective function f, we're going to graph the feasible set in 2D, compute the coordinates of each uh, corner point of f, evaluate the f at each uh, corner point, and then select the largest, smallest of these values, depending on whether we need to solve a maximization or minimization problem. And then we're going to, uh, if f is bounded, then we found the solution, uh, the value selected in uh, uh, step 4. And if f is uh, unbounded, uh, we're going to determine if the problem is solvable, has a solution. There's a procedure for that, which we'll consider in the next screencast. And if it is, then the value found in 4 uh, is our solution. And if it's uh, not solvable, there's no solution. So that's the algorithm that, that we will uh, exemplify and discuss in the next screencast. Thanks for watching. This is to be continued.